hello Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome to Pecah Kuca presentation about English lesson in grade 2 With me, Miss Ainun Ratri Hapsari from grade 2B Let's enjoy the show everyone, shall we? For the first lesson, I have months of the year There are 12 months in a year They are January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and the last one is December. Next lesson, we'll talk about the days of the week, everyone. There are seven days in a week, right? They are Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Next lesson is about the ordinal number. The example of ordinal number is first, second, third, fifth, sixth. And in the sentence, the example is today is the 6th of October 2021. Next, we're talking about time. We say o'clock when the long hands in the clock points at 12. The example is shown on the screen. We can say it is 3 o'clock. Next, we're talking about the half past. We say half past when the long hand points at 6 and the short hand is placed between two numbers. The example is shown on the screen. We say that it is a half past one. Next lesson is talking about the daily routines. Daily routines is some actions that we done repeatedly every single day. For example, get up, have lunch, have breakfast, play with friends, I'll go to bed, brush my teeth, and so on. Next lesson, we're talking about the animals at the zoo. We will learn about kinds of animals in the zoo. Uh, for example, like panda, lion, tigers, tortoise, giraffe, elephant, uh, alligator, hippo, monkeys, and others. Next lesson is about the present continuous tense. We will learn the use of is plus ing and are plus ing. Is plus ing is used when the subject is singular and are plus ing is used when the subject uh, plurals. Next lesson is about asking and answering about what people are doing. To ask, we can say what is mom doing and what are grandma and grandpa doing next we will talk about clothes clothes uh, is something that we wear every single day on our body for example like a uh, trousers jackets uh, socks shoes skirt pants jeans and so on Next, we're talking about the articles A, an, and the. A is used for a singular nouns and it's countable. And it's followed by the words that start with consonant sound. For example, a bus. Next is articles N. Same like the articles A. It's uh, to show that the thing is singular and countable but it's followed by the words and start with a vowel sounds like a i u e o okay now the articles the is used when we already talk the nouns before for example a girl is standing behind the tree the girl is wearing pink skirt like that next lesson we'll talk about whose we use whose when we want to ask 
who something belongs to. For example, whose bottle is this? Whose uh, book is this? Whose motorcycle is this? Like that. Okay, next lesson is about the people who help us. It's talking about the jobs in the city. For example, like teacher, policeman, doctor, baker, florist, firefighter, nurse, um, postman, and so on. Okay, in the next lesson, we will learn uh, about the fairy tale. In the fairy tale chapter, we will learn about the characters in the fairy tale. For example, like small fairy, beautiful princess, handsome prince, and so on. And also, we will learn about the weather. We will talk about how is the weather today. Is it sunny, windy, cloudy, stormy, rainy, uh, and so on. Next, uh, we will also learn about the holiday time. We can talk about what we are doing when uh, we are in a holiday and also a place that usually visited when we in a holiday. For example, like mountains, beach, um, and so on. Next, we have past simple. In the past simple, the students will... Uh, learn and memorize the past form of the verbs. For example, like eat becomes ate in the past simple and sleep becomes slept and so on. Oh, that's the last slide I can tell you guys. So it's time for me to say goodbye. Thank you for your kind attention and thank you for watching this video. I hope you like it and you learn something from me. I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Bye!